YouTube. Today we're gonna see what happens when we drop objects from a 257 centimeter elevation into this puddle of fluffy slime. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, look at this. Look how crazy and fluffy this is. That is crazy. Now, let's give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, first round. All right, here we are on top of the ledge here, uh, 257 centimeters above. And down there is the fluffy slime. Will those watermelons survive when I drop it? I don't know. The slime retract and go trampoline mode? Who knows? In three, two, one, drop it. Oh! I seriously thought the fluffy slime would be bouncy enough to reflect this thing right out of it. Oh! Oh! Okay. I just go like this, like nothing ever happened. Oh my goodness, fluffy slime! Why are you so fun to play with? It absorbed some, but not all, of the impact of the watermelon, causing it to die and rot away. Sorry, Mr. Watermelon. Okay, so the circumference of the density of that bigger watermelon does not combine with the density of this small one. So, if you take the derivatives of the equations, the smaller watermelon shouldn't break. Right? Right? Alright, we're about to drop it. Three, two, one. Oh, it did break! What? No way! Why'd you break? It sounded so nice, though. It sounded like a... a blue. Oh, oh. The king has returned. Simba, you are now king of the bride. Alright, next up we have a cantaloupe. Did you guys get the last reference from Lion King 4? <laughs> yes, for the kingdom of Simba. You know why it's called cantaloupe? Because it can't elope. <laughs> I'm gonna do this forcefully. A lot durable. Three, two, one! Oh! Look at that crater of cantaloupes. Oh, man! Oh, Simba. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is what they use in the movie. Asante sana squash banana Simba! Simba, I see you later. All right, next up, we're just gonna keep throwing fruits. We have here a lemon. Will this fall down and survive? Who knows? The answer might be a little sour, but we'll figure it out. Ready? Three, two, one, 257 centimeters. Oh, that was durable. I love the sound it makes. It goes like, oh, look at my lemon. Oh, oh, looks like a banana from the inside. Next up, we have a potato. Three, two, one. <laughs> Potato flew around. Oh. Does this remind you of an ocean? Quite frankly, it does. This is very indestructible. So if you want like a really sturdy vegetable, a tomato is your bet. I'm kind of a little bit scared for this one. It's a mug. Most importantly, it's a mug that says G and then G on the other side. So GG mug. Oh! That mug broke. This mug is broken. But seriously though, this fluffy slime is so fluffy. <laughs> We got ourselves some cereal. All right, I have a sister, her name is Ariel. And whenever I see her, I go, cereal. Three, two, one. Wow, that was louder than I thought it would be. And you can't forget about the milk. Oh, it's like um the WWE people, he slam dunked on that cereal. Can you believe it? What a touchdown. And you know what rhymes with great? Cake. Okay, bye. Oh! The cake was like, I want to slam dunk on that milk. The milk's massive body reflected the cake right out of the ring. It's over. <laughs> Can you feel the excitement? The excitement is real. Oh, wow. Oh, that got me shook. Those eggs did not crack. The slime is taking over and it's sinking. Wow! What an excellent display of nobility. Here we go. We have two eggs. Will it break? We're about to find out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoop. Wow! Wow! Mm -mm. Egg's best friend is not bacon, it's fluffy slime. Who would've known? Here's another one. And drop. Oh, that is so satisfying. It's disappearing slowly. That is science, man. Oh, man. All right, last but not least, I'm pretty sure this will not crack because the eggs didn't crack. Here we go. This is a pickle. Three, two, one. Pickles. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I don't understand that. The eggs didn't crack at all, but the pickle cracked completely. Who would have known? Wow. Oh, did that blow your mind? You would have thought the eggs would crack, but they did it. Okay. All right, comment down below which one was your favorite. Mine was the cereal and milk because the cereal was cool, but then when the milk like slammed on the cereal, I was like, oh, wow. Replay that real quick. 
Oh yeah, by the way, did you find the fox in the video? That's right, there is a really, really brown fox hanging out in the background. Let me know the timestamp where you found the fox. That's right. Alright, cut.